to be kind, to be calm, and to be safe. When we all work together, we all follow these restrictions, we can bring the numbers down. Is that Canadians will unite with determination to get through adversity together and will keep on doing it to protect our families, our communities and our society. Many of the voices that have guided Canadians through the pandemic have an apparent similarity. They're the voices of strong, qualified women. The daily updates of COVID-19 case numbers and deaths are not something we look forward to, but many have sought comfort in the approach these female leaders have taken. In BC, Provincial Health Officer Dr. Bonnie Henry has not shied away from showing some authentic emotion when sharing difficult news about the pandemic. It breaks my heart every time a single person passes away from this virus. And she has become more than just a household name. She's inspired fashion trends and artwork. These murals of her likeness popping up on boarded up businesses during the initial lockdown. She even served as a watchful eye over beaches that were prone to parties. And an ad campaign digging up an old school picture, encouraging young people to pursue scientific studies, even if it might be considered uncool. In Alberta, Dina Hinshaw offering a calm and measured demeanor, even when delivering sobering realities on the pandemic. COVID-19 is not like other threats we have seen in the past decades. It is more severe than seasonal influenza or the H1 pandemic of 2009, and it is more contagious than viruses like SARS. Also creating a stir in the fashion industry, a t-shirt bearing one of her signature slogans and a design Hinshaw wore was pulled out of the archives of a small Victoria boutique after creating a boom in customer inquiries. A demand for a dress featuring the periodic table that may say more about women's interest in science than clothing. And in the country's biggest city, Dr. Eileen Davila was there to guide Toronto through some of its most trying times. But what these measures and recommendations need is you. It takes you to do these things to make it harder for COVID-19 to spread. And the nation's top doc, Dr. Teresa Tam, has remained steadfast, despite taking insults and racially charged comments. Uh, we sent an email out today asking, does she work for Canada or for China? Tam choosing to ignore the comments and so focus the on the point. task at hand. As an, as an individual, I was really very, very busy just focusing on uh, doing my part in the public health response. As young girls in the U.S. got to see the first woman elected on a presidential ticket, our girls north of the border are watching Canada's top doctors. And while dreams of VP may not be a reality, dreams of MD certainly afternoon. are. So we're reporting for...